Hi, and welcome to the Adobe Illustrator in Under 10 tutorial series where we explain techniques in Adobe Illustrator in under 10 minutes. In this particular tutorial, we are going to discuss artboard manipulation. The artboard is something that's quite often overlooked. In the newer uh, versions of Adobe Illustrator, you can actually create multiple artboards. Uh, previously, you could only work with one artboard, and now you have the ability to create a entire layout, an entire layout in Adobe Illustrator. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now, we have an artboard. And there are some things uh, when you're creating your document, they give you some options where you can set your width and your height and the resolution, etc. But if you wanted to change certain items on the fly, there are a couple of ways you can go about doing it. If you look in your toolbar, if you go down to, and you can ignore my layout, my layout is a little bit different and it's more so because I'm using a companion and uh, my the way my hand rests, I don't like hitting the tools when they're on the right hand side because I am right handed. So I placed everything over here. If you look at the bottom of your tools panel, you'll notice something that looks like the alignment tool in your artboard uh, for your align options. So you would uh, click this, and as you notice, when you click that, you'll get the bounding boxes and the uh, crop marks on the outside of the actual artboard. And what you can do is you can push and pull these at any angle, right? If you want to flex and change the size of the artboard dynamically, on the fly you can do so now if you want to specify you would double click that icon come over here you can change the name of the artboard which would reflect here so let's name that to uh, specific and then they have the presets listed that you can change it for if you wanted it for video or if you wanted it for actual print or web settings you can change it to that um, those are predefined. You can also change it in here specifically for the width and height that you choose. You can also flip the orientation from portrait to landscape and you can constrain the proportion as you're doing it. You can set the uh, actual point at which it starts the registration point and where it's going to grow from because right now the registration point is set to grow from center so these are the X and Y coordinates for that. These options allow you to display show center mark, crosshairs, video safe areas. These, the video safe areas only apply when you have a video set option uh, otherwise it would be irrelevant for print and uh, just general web, web applications so um, we're gonna ignore that um, video ruler pixel aspect ratio again that is for the video safe areas and then you just have the fade region outside of the artboard if we were to click that off now all of that in the artboard looks the same you kind of want that on so that way you can tell the difference between the artboard and you're not just looking at the marching ants or the marquee that's around it and it updates while dragging so if if we were to click that off and click OK now you notice the name has changed to specific and we were to drag this right you want it to be able to update live right now the white area is not changing until we let go but if we go back and then we click update while dragging you'll notice that we have a very opaque slightly transparent area and of course I know opaque and transparent are kind of contradictory but I was referring to the level of opaqueness and the level of transparency within the actual artboard rectangle but that's how we can use that when we're moving it dynamically now if you go to your window and you go down and you can click artboards which you'll notice that you have an artboard options box. Now you'll notice that in this actual artboard area we have the name of the actual artboard which we've labeled as specific. It's only showing that there is one artboard which is the number one here. If we were to click this new artboard option we can duplicate this and replicate it over and over and over it as many times as we choose. So we're going to click this a couple of times and let's actually click it let's do nine and you'll see in the lower left hand corner it says nine artboards and then they'll have their numbers and everything associated with them if you wanted to change the name just like before you can double click once you have the artboard selected uh, with the artboard option tool so we would click this and we would click that one and let's say we double click right now we know this is artboard five right let's name it to automatic and click OK. Now you'll notice that number two is named automatic and then it goes through the other names 
uh, of the other boards that we created. That would be how you would be able to individually manipulate them. And again, you can change the sizes independent of one another and so on and so forth. You also have an option when you're exporting. Let's say you're exporting as a PDF or a JPEG sequence, you can export according to the artboards that they're actually on. So you can combine them into uh, one file or you can export them individually or within a specific sequence that you choose. We won't go into that because that's not a part of the actual artboard option that we're talking about, but it's just something that you might want to be aware of for future notice. Now just to, you know, keep things concise and wrap things up, if we wanted to organize these, right now we're looking at this and we have about 10 artboards. But looking at it like this is kind of distracting. Maybe we want to organize it a little differently. If you were to click the uh, options arrow, you'll notice that you have a few options under here. New artboard, duplicate artboards, delete artboards, delete empty artboards, artboards that wouldn't have any art on them, um, or artboard options, or rearrange artboards. Artboard options is, of course, the same thing that we go to with our artboard tool. So we're not going to utilize that. But we're going to go into rearrange artboards. And what we can do here is if you look, we can change the layout. Right now, this is a Z layout. So it goes from left to right, down to the next row, and left to right. And it would keep doing that for however many columns you have set up. And you can specify the spacing. You could also move the artwork that is attached to the specific artboard with the actual artboard as you are rearranging it. Because sometimes, if you were to unclick this, and I'll give you an example of, of, let's say, what this looks like. Let's say I move and I put a rectangle here. And let's change that there. And then I rearrange these artboards. Now note, this is on artboard 8, I believe. If I were to select this, because it's on artboard 8, and I were to go to rearrange artboards, click move artwork with artboard, and take that option off, change it to 4 for columns, and click OK, you'll notice that now the rectangle is still in the same place. It did not move with the artboard. Let's Control z or Command z and let's go back, and let's go into that same option, rearrange artboards, 4 columns, move artwork with artboard, and click OK, and now we notice the rectangle sticks with the artboard that it was selected with. Okay, let's go back into rearrange artboards. You can change this to have a different configuration and it will go from top to bottom and then uh, left to right you can change it again if you wanted it to go left to right only or top to bottom only and these are just a bunch of simple options that are in here and you can change it if it's going from right to left or left to right for the layout itself um, very very simple click OK you have your selection set up and that's how you manipulate the artboard in Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can find me online, www.theonewillfocus.com, or on Instagram, where the majority of my work can be displayed at The One Will Focus. That's T-H-E-O-N-E-W-I-L-L-F-O-C-U-S, all spelled out. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.